What were you thinking when he was playing the piano? I thought he was great. I thought he was very, very talented. So I was very impressed by this. I also felt like he was going to be a big star. He was going to be big because his his talent was so overwhelming. What was the attraction when you first saw him? I thought he was cute. I thought he was interesting. And then when he started to play the piano, I was really impressed by that. You know, and he, he was playing the piano within 15 minutes of me meeting him. So he was just this little country boy you know, that came to Memphis. He was wearing cowboy boots and blue jeans and sporting a goatee, which was kind of silly looking. <laughs> what would be the attraction for a 13-year-old girl in getting married? Well, in 1950, I call myself a child of the bomb because there was an atom bomb or an H-bomb or some kind of bomb that was around at that time that it was told to us that at any moment this bomb could be dropped and that our life would just totally come to an end. And the thing that I had wanted more than anything, even at that age, was a child, a home, a husband. I wanted to get on with my life because I felt as if it would come to an end at any moment. How would you describe um, Jerry as a husband? Jerry, oh, Jerry was not a real good husband in as much as it was his way he would tell me how he wanted me to believe, how he wanted me to think. There was no freedom there for me to have my own beliefs or, or standards or whatever. So in looking back on it, oh, I, would, I could never, ever have that kind of relationship again. It was, it was stifling. How about um, Jerry Lee just as a person? There are times that Jerry has an absolute heart of gold, would do anything in the world for someone, and then he can also turn around and be very very mean to you and and you don't understand why and I think sometimes Jerry doesn't understand why he will have these frustrations that will come out in him and he will take it out on someone there and generally he will take it out on the person that is the least deserving do you think that your life is uh, better or worse having been married to him oh much better much better I Given all the facts and given all the possibilities of going back and altering it and changing my life, I'd do it all over again. There'd be a few little things along the way I would change. But if I had to toss it all out and start over, I wouldn't do that. I would take it and, and live it again because the things that have happened to me in my life, that's all the things that it has taken to get me where I am today.